Everyone knows that America is facing a real challenge from the coronavirus. I'm going to break it down for you. First, a word on how things got so bad. The coronavirus that's been spreading around the world started spreading in January of 2020. Some countries acted quickly. What did President Trump do? He downplayed it. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Trump's slow response to this crisis is no surprise. Back in 2015, when I finished serving as White House Ebola Response Coordinator, I urged President Obama and Vice President Biden to set up a permanent White House Pandemic Prevention Response Office so we'd be ready for the next one. They did, and that office was doing a great job. But in 2018, Donald Trump abolished that office. So when the coronavirus hit our country, no one on the National Security Council staff was put in charge. Instead, Donald Trump sent a message to the bureaucracy. This isn't a big deal. I don't want to hear it's a big deal. No one should act like it's a big deal. From the very beginning, Donald Trump had a don't test, don't tell mindset. As a result, at the time we're taping this, only about 150 Americans out of every 1 million has been tested, while in Korea, almost 4,000 out of every million people have been tested. All the while, anyone who raised an alarm about this red flag was silenced. Look no further than Dr. Nancy Messonnier, a career official at the Centers for Disease Control, who was the first to raise the alarm. It's not so much a question of if this will happen anymore, but rather more a question of exactly when this will happen and how many people in this country will have severe illness. Starting the next day, Dr. Messonnier no longer appeared at public briefings of the White House Coronavirus Task Force. The president and the White House sent a clear message to scientists in the government. There would be a price for speaking out and speaking up. Now we're in a full-scale pandemic. Schools are closed, businesses are closed, restaurants are closed, bars are closed. All kinds of establishments are closed. The coronavirus is not Donald Trump's fault. But the fact that our country was not ready for it and that it responded so slowly, well, President Trump says he bears no responsibility for that. But the responsibility falls squarely on his shoulders. So let's talk about solutions. On March 12th, Joe Biden laid out a comprehensive plan to fight the coronavirus, to protect our country, to help our families. It was influenced by scientists, experts. No more sidelining those people who know best, no more silencing them from the truth. Their advice will guide Joe Biden in dealing with a crisis like the coronavirus. I'm here to talk to you today about four key parts of that plan. First, Joe Biden would fix the testing fiasco. Second, he would direct the FEMA or the US military to set up emergency hospitals 500 bed units that could be dropped on a parking lot or wherever they're needed. Third, he would give the doctors and nurses the help that they need. That means protective gear so they can be safe as they treat coronavirus patients. And it means accelerating our work on cures and vaccines. And finally, because the coronavirus crisis is gonna have huge impacts on our economy, people are going to need help. Joe Biden would make sure that those people get the help they need to deal with their bills. So that's what Joe Biden would do as president. But what can you do? We talk a lot about flattening the curve. That means bringing down the number of cases so we don't have a big rush in our hospitals all at once. We don't overwhelm the system. What can you do to help with that? Well, first, you can practice what we call social mitigation practices. Keep at least six feet distance between you and other people and wash your hands as often as possible. Wash them thoroughly for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. Wash them really well. And finally, think about what kind of president you want to have running your country. As someone who's led a response like this and worked with Joe Biden for more than 30 years, I can tell you he would know what to do when something like this happens again in the future. He wouldn't mess it up like our current president has. He has the kind of leadership, accountability, responsibility to be the next president and to get us through a situation like this. And most importantly, stay safe, everyone.